Mr. Mobile, do we know what is in that memorandum of demands? Well, Mr. Ho, at this point, they're actually reading that memorandum, and they've gone as far as saying that Operation Jujula is also enticing violence against women and children just because they're not from South Africa. I mean, it's ongoing behind me. But I want to bring in the president of Jumusa. So you have just spoken at this moment, and you said that um, you also feel the sentiments of the people that are here. Let me just start right straight into it. Are you against Operation to do that? Yes, it is um, an organized criminal xenophobic mob that uh, is terrorizing and harassing many working class poor migrants. And no matter how they can try to sanitize their language, the reality is that at the core of it is xenophobic, hateful monopolization targeted at poor migrants. And I mean, South Africans have argued, those that go with Dudula, that the issue here at heart is that there's not enough jobs for everybody. What's your sentiments on this? Well, the problem of jobs is here. But jobs have been catered. I mean, the unemployment, which has reached astro astronomical levels of 12.5 million jobs, is the result of the failures of the policies of this government, of the ANC, to which Ntanta Lux belongs. It is the policies that have allowed foreign corporate, you know, corporations to come under name or under pretext of investment to plunder the local industry, to close factories, to close many, you know, big, you know, um, uh, companies that we have. Clover is one recent example, but also there's SAB, there is a uh, mass mart situation where thousands of jobs are being lost under pretext of, I mean, as part of restructurings that are imposed by the foreign investment that, as we are speaking at the moment, Ramaphosa has invest, uh, invited and is holding a conference with them um, at, um, at, at, at Sunten Conference Center at the present moment. Now, it is the failure of those policies that has landed us where we are with regard to unemployment, with regard to collapse in terms of public services, but also corruption and the plunder of the public service by the ANC itself. For me, the solution is that the waiting class has got to be able to figure out. The ANC must go out of power. As in of yesterday. And I hear you saying that Nukanta Lux is aligned to ANC. From our understanding, he's always said that he is not aligned or affiliated with any party. Those are big allegations. I mean, he was uh, the guest speaker of the ANC League during uh, the 21st March, but um, you just have to look at uh, you know, the, what information is being shared. But for me, that is actually very secondary. The primary issue here is government and the big cooperation that dominate our economy are the ones that are ultimately responsible for this crisis. As we are speaking now, the Minister of Labour uh, and Employment has published quite a xenophobic set of policies that seek to restrict you know, a ways of migrants making a very honest and lawful gainful employment in this country, which is going to push many, if, you know, many into life of crime and all the things and so on. We will use again to scapegoat, you know, to harass and to criminalize a lot of the poor migrants. But the reality is it is the same minister who sat with us in the meeting with Clover, which is closing about six factories, which is changing about you know two thousand workers. That is barely a few months after you know Milko, the Israeli-based consortium, came here and said they are going to invest, they are going to create jobs, and when they are failing to do that, when they are breaking and breaching conditions of you know, their takeover of Clover. Nobody, not government, not the relevant ministries are holding them accountable for that. And that is a story that I can go on and on to refer a number of other instances. So are you saying then that we should blame the ANC government for this high unemployment rate and for xenophobia? It is, um, but also much more directly because the ANC okay. In the last election, for the first time, it contested on the platform of xenophobia. And they are killing that program. They failed to carry all the promises that they made to the working class people in this country. But if there's anything that they are implementing now, is all sorts of xenophobic policies that are taking us back to the days of apartheid. And we are saying that the working class need to respond. And for the working class to respond, we need to rebuild our movement. We need to rebuild our organizations at level of trade unions, at level of communities 
challenges to be able to confront both the government, both the corporations, and the capitalist logic of profit making that is throwing many people into intolerable levels of poverty and unemployment, but also is collapsing public services. We desperately need to sustain, but also to improve the quality of life of many working class people. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it, Masiako. They're saying that unity is the way of life, and of course the memorandum is still being read behind me. That will continue. So from here, we are marching towards the Johannesburg Central Police Station, which we understand my colleague Lindo is there, and that's where the Operation Dudula is there. There's just been an announcement now to also tell the people to not be scared and, 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 and just march towards Operation Dudula. All right, uh, let's leave it there for now.